what happens if I give you this limit question today? Take a look. Analyze the structure. It looks difficult. Eh? Today's video, which is the second video of the mini course about calculus, we are going to solve this question, testing questions about limit doing connections, establishing connections in mathematics, information and algebra. With those two elements, we are going to solve that super easy. Follow me now. So what happens if, if I give you this information, the one on your left? Limit when the x is approaching to zero of the sine of 2x over 2x is equal to 1. This is a true statement. If you know that, if you know that information, you can answer the question, the testing question, by the way. This is a testing question. The tangent of 2x over 6x secant of 3x. How can we apply my personal approach to move students through connections and help them arrive to conclusions and to the right answer in cases like this. Look at what I have here, and I want to use my highlight that I love to highlight what is important here, okay? The sine of 2x and the denominator is 2x, and the x is approaching to zero. I have here x approaching to zero. I have here 2x, but I don't have 2x in the denominator. I don't have also sine, I have tangent. How can we manipulate the structures in mathematics that allow us to arrive to an equivalent expression that we know the answer? And that will help us to find the answer for our question. This is the key of everything. So what is the learning set that you need? Okay, I'm going to give you more information about the learning set. Tangent. What is tangent? Tangent of the angle. They said tangent of x is equal to the sine of x divided by the cosine of x. What is the other element that we have here, or the, the other trig ratio that we have here? Secant. Secant of x is no more than 1 over cosine of x. This is what we have here. And we have to manipulate this with algebra. I won't use the uh, limit, the notation of limits. I'm going to use the fraction. And I'm going to manipulate that fraction using algebra. So I'm going to use here tangent of 2x divided by 6x times the secant of 3x. Okay. And tangent is no more than the sine of 2x divided by the cosine of 2x divided by 6x over cosine of 3x. You know what I did here, no? I multiply 6x times 1 over the cosine of 3x, which is the secant. So now we continue simplifying that fraction. So we have a division of two fractions that we're going to keep the sine of 2x divided by the cosine of 2x. And we are going to multiply by the reciprocal, which is cosine of 3x divided by 6x. So far, so good. Huh? So far, so good. Um, what I do here, do I can have more simplification here? Look, that I would like to have something like this with denominator 2x, okay? 
Now is when I'm going to put the word limit right there. So I'm going to put the word limit when the x is approaching to zero of all of this. Okay? Sine of 2x times cosine of 3x divided by 6x times cosine of 2x. Okay? So, what I do here? I can see, and let me highlight it, I can see something here. The 2x and the 2x. I can see here the 2x, but I, I don't see the 2x down here. So look at look at this expression. Let me let me separate it by a line. Mm -hmm. Look at this expression here. It's very similar to this, except that I don't have here 2x. If I have here 2x, all of this will be equal 1. That's what I'm looking for. But that's why we have algebra, no? And, and algebra allow an arithmetic allow us to change things. Okay. Um, this is equal. What I can do with the 6x? Remember, 6x is no more than 2x times 3. Yes or no? So we have 1 or 3 times, just 1 over 3 times, the sine of 2x divided by 2x, beautiful, eh? beautiful, because 3 times 2 is 6x. And we continue with the other part. No? The other part is right here, cosine of 3x divided by cosine of 2x. Right here, well, let me use a different color, or let me use my highlight. I have the sine of 2x over 2x when the x is approaching to 0. You know that all of, all of this is 1. All of this is 1. Sine of 2x divided by 2x is equal to 1, so all of this is 1. So now you're ready to evaluate the limit. Okay, you're ready to evaluate the limit. So you can say, I can put it right here, or yeah, over here, that the limit when the x is approaching to 0, 1 over 3, stay 1 over 3, of sine of 2x over 2x is equal 1. So we have 1 over 3 times 1, finally, times, okay, times the cosine of 3 times 0. And the cosine of 3 times 0 is cosine of 0. And the cosine of 0, the cosine of 0, remember what is the cosine of 0? Is, is, the, is the y axis, is the y coordinate, okay, of the cosine of 0, what is the y coordinate? So cosine of 0 is just 1 divided, okay, by the cosine of 0, which is 1. So all of this is one third times one times one over one. All of that is equal to one over three. Boom. This is the answer of the limit. This limit is equal. This limit here is equal to one third. This is the connectivity that I want you to establish with important information, background information. Let's call it that way. And the manipulation, the algebra massage that we can do in order to solve difficult questions. What do you think? You are ready now. Okay. You are ready now. Sine of 2x divided by 2x when, when the x is approaching to zero, the limit is equal to 1. This is the second lecture and I prefer to use a simple testing question to test you and to show you how to make connections, to show you the way I teach math and the way I learn math. 
I hope you like it. See you in the next video.